Hey guys, how's it going? So today I just wanted to come on here and kind of share a little bit of the things that I would suggest not doing when you're starting your garden. So um, I have worked in the garden my whole life. My parents were both green thumbs and so um, they always had us working in the garden. But of course, as a kid, you just don't want to do that. So I got away from it for years and years. And then finally, when I got my own house and my mom had passed, it was like she passed the torch of the green thumb. Because let me tell you, I used to kill everything. I've even killed a bonsai tree before. Um, so I never had luck with it. But then when my mom passed, um, miraculously, I got the green thumb. So I started to do some planting and um, you know, potting up things around my house and totally transformed my backyard, which another thing is, is I'm just learning how to do all this YouTube stuff and editing and videos and I don't have all the right things. So of course, nothing's perfect. I was just using my phone as I am right now. Um, so I did a video showing you guys the transformation of the backyard from like just plain grass to what it is today and it got all screwed up and so I have to figure that one out but for today I just wanted to share what I was doing as I'm sitting here like just passing the time because right now it's a time game so what I did was I have always just used the dirt like on my lot right whatever I had I never went and bought potting mix or soil or anything like that I just kind of used what I had and then I started composting but then that was a little bit too much for me because um, I probably wasn't doing it right so I stopped doing that but there are a couple of pots that I have around my house that have some really good soil and some other areas that I've literally I mean done the banana peels and the eggshells and the coffee grounds and all those things to get my dirt to be um, you know effective for the plants and good growing soil and um, then I did start to buy some soil and kind of invest a little bit more in our garden but that doesn't mean that I know all the things and so as I'm still learning, I'm just sharing this with you guys so you know what not to do when it comes to this. So I'm going to turn the camera around so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But it was just a big faux pas <laughs> on my part. So, oh wait, I can't even turn the camera around. So hopefully you guys can see this. Okay, this is like what I'm doing today. Literally watching dirt dry. <laughs> because if you can see like right here it's super super wet and all of my containers like all of my plants were dying you guys why because i was super lazy and i used um, top soil that i had and then i had some garden soil for the ground and i thought you know what i can use it it's dirt right we can use dirt i mean things plant or i mean they grow out in the middle of nowhere with no help from miracle grow or anything like that you know so so i thought i could do it but what started happening was i would water my plants and then this nasty brown stinky water would come out and then it started staining my concrete you guys so listen we've spent some money on the concrete back here so the last thing i need is for it to be stained um you know with me trying to learn how to be a gardener but um so i had to figure it out so of course i googled and all you know the things to try to figure out what did i do wrong why is this happening and another thing that was super annoying is all these little like buggies that are just hanging around so you cannot walk through my backyard without like getting a bug in the face um, and they're just these little gnats kind of things. I don't even know what they are. They're literally flying around here right now because I'm still trying to dry this soil because I would water it. It would just sit at the bottom of these pots and stank up my backyard. Um, and so today that's what I'm doing. I'm going through all of my pots and um, just trying to save this dirt because some of it is good garden soil. Um, and then I'm mixing in some, let me see what this is called, some perlite. 
Um, and this is just what I got, just because, you know, my parents used to use miracle Grow all the time. No, this isn't sponsored, blah, blah, blah. Um, but I got some of that at our hardware store the other day while we were out and about. And so hopefully that helps. Uh, another thing I read was to add like some sand. So I did some of that. Um, but just to help it drain a little bit better. So maybe not going to say I'm going to do it because I know myself and I will totally t try to DIY this thing. Um, but I might just go buy the correct potting soil for my pots so I don't have to worry about it. But there is a lot of recipes um, for, you know, DIYing your own potting soil. So that's what I was looking at today. And I'm using and mixing the things that I have after I'm drying this out. Um, so hopefully it will work and I could save my plants because I just bought some really cute plants and then I was like, why are they not growing? Why are they not um, blooming? They were blooming so nicely when I first brought them home. And the black thumb in me started to come out with this wet soil. I almost said a bad word, but I'm not gonna, not, not gonna say that. <laughs> now I'm all over the place. Um, anyway, you guys, so either use the right products for whatever you're trying to do or mix your own. And like I said, all sorts of recipes that you can find on Google, um, you know, or wherever about how to mix your own soil um, for potting soil and stuff like that. So that's what I'm doing today. And I hope this helps somebody out because, you know, I'm just learning and I'm just trying to, like I said, use the things around me but um, as I'm growing my garden and it, as it's starting to look better, I'm starting to invest in the right things because it's just so worth it to be able to see your things thriving and growing and looking beautiful like they're supposed to. So anyway, I hope this helps you guys and I will talk to you soon. Bye.